Most modern fighters have practical ceilings between 50,000 and 60,000 feet. This is where aerodynamic performance really starts to degrade. Here's the reasons why they cannot fly at very high altitudes, such as the U-2 plane, which has an amazing altitude of over 70,000 feet. As altitude increases, air density decreases significantly. At very high altitudes, there is not enough air density to provide enough lift or thrust from the aircraft's engines. The fighter jet's performance drop off sharply above certain altitudes. Then, at extremely high altitudes, the low pressure starts to have physiological impacts on pilots like hypoxia, lack of oxygen, and high-altitude pilots must wear pressure suits as protection from cockpit depressurization. At altitudes above 63,000 feet without artificial air pressure, human blood and other fluids boil, and so far their missions are designed to take place lower in the troposphere and stratosphere where aircraft performance is optimal.